All right, topic number two. Uh, ESPN is expected to announce their TV schedule for the first three weeks of the upcoming college okay. football season tomorrow. Yes. It's happening. It's all happening. So let's have some fun and try and uh, predict what BYU's TV schedule will look like in games one, two, and three to begin the year. What, what do you expect when that announcement comes out tomorrow? Okay, first off, Big 12 deal now is Fox and ESPN. So that could be Fox, FS1, in theory FS2, hopefully not. FS3? Does that uh, even exist? That doesn't exist. Okay. Uh, then, of course, you have ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN+. Plus. Plus. Okay, ESPN, the BYU fans, again, we'll say it. We're going to scream it from the rafters. you got to have ESPN Plus to watch Cougar Sports, uh, football, men's basketball, and all the other stuff. Okay. First game, Sam Houston. Um, looking at the compelling mountain and Pacific time zone games that could battle with this. Boise State at Washington is interesting. Coastal Carolina at UCLA is inter uh, interesting. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, because Sam Houston, because new FBS team, listen, if BYU goes with that late slot, 10-20 Eastern, that opens up possibilities of always being linear. Linear right. meaning not streamed. It's at least ESPNU to me. It might be ESPN+, Plus, okay. but I'm hoping it's like a late ESPN2 kind of game, although you have USC hosting Nevada. Yeah. You have UCLA, as I mentioned, hosting Coastal Washington as well. So there could be some conflicts there with ESPN ESPN2. But I'm thinking at least ESPNU late window. If it's ESPN Plus, I wonder if those uh, kind of games still will slot late right. or because it's streamed and it's not going head to head in a linear slot, if ESPN will say, "No, you're good to go at 1 p.m. Mountain yeah. Time if you want." I'm interested to see that. What do you think week 1? I think week one, I I am going in and I'll, I'll jump to week two because I think it's the same argument for both. Okay. I'm expecting ESPN Plus for both in the afternoon. Mm. With the but they're not in the afternoon. With the, they are, and they could but be. Now they there will be more be. in the afternoon than what we're used to. <laughs> Just I, the first two weeks in my I'm, a, I'm expecting both ESPN Plus in the afternoon with the caveat that one could certainly shift to later in the evening. Now, I agree with you. If it goes to later in the evening, then you open up possibly a linear spot. But I'm going in assuming that the first two games of the season will be streamed ESPN+. Plus. Okay, Arkansas. Um, 13 of the last 18 games, that is the last three years, have been between 11 and 3 p.m. for the Razorbacks. Mm -hmm. The chances of this game being uh, an afternoon game are really high. Right. Um, it screams SEC Network. Um, but we'll see if there's kind of an ESPNU, ESPN2 slot mm -hmm. in there. Again, it depends what other compelling and rich matchups exist, but um, at, at, it's going to be on the ESPN family of networks, and it's going to be linear. There's no way to yep. me that one is ESPN. I agree with you. I think it's going to be an afternoon game, and I'm anticipating ESPNU. They kind of go 11 a.m. Yes. Or 3. That's, that's, that's local time two. in Arkansas. Bigger programs, obviously you're dealing with the SEC, you're dealing with BYU's brand, plus now in the Big 12. I, I think that deserves linear. A non-conference power five Exactly, matchup yes, is, is yes. Nice I, I think that is an afternoon on ESPNU. Okay, yeah. Are, is BYU getting the ESPN treatment on these first three? Probably not. But once they get into uh, conference play, depending on the time slot, again, BYU's in a great spot being in the mountain time zone and on the west uh, side of the country to get more of those kind of late games. That's just how it is, homies. If you're not used to it already, uh, where were you during Independence? <laughs>